the Cromwell Schaefer beetles live underground. They spend at least one year as larvae, living buried in the sand and feeding on plant roots. Adults emerge on humid nights on spring and summer for a few hours to feed on lichens and plants. Its main threats were formerly habitat destruction, but now are introduced predators. The current population of Cromwell chafers is estimated to be approximately 3,000 individuals. The black stilt is a wading bird found in New Zealand. It is one of the world's rarest birds, with 169 adults surviving in the wild as of May 2020. Adult khaki have distinctive black plumage, long pink legs, and a long thin black bill. Black stilts largely breed in the Mackenzie Basin in the South Island, and are threatened by introduced feral cats, ferrets, and hedgehogs as well as habitat degradation from hydroelectric dams, agriculture, and invasive weeds. The population may have numbered 800 birds in the 1940s, but began to rapidly decline in the 1950s, and just 68 adults were counted in 1962. Black stilts rely on wetlands and braided riverbeds for feeding, and these have been extensively drained or modified for agriculture, irrigation, and flood control. Because black stilts nest on braided river beds, they are threatened by changes in river flows as a result of new and existing hydroelectric dams. The southern New Zealand dotterel is a bird endemic to New Zealand, and was once widespread across the South Island, though now it breeds nearly exclusively on Stewart Island. It has been subject to numerous fluctuations. While it was extirpated from the South Island primarily due to introduced species, such as feral cats and stoats, it experienced a brief swell in population size to around 290 birds in 2005, followed by a period of intense decline for unclear reasons, dropping to around 120 individuals. While the cause is unknown, it has been concluded it is not due to a lack of recruitment, but rather some decline of mature birds, as suggested by the sheer drop in population. Consequently, it has been categorized as critically endangered. The Chatham Shag is a large, pied shag with a long crest. It is highly coastal, rarely foraging far from shore, although sometimes feeds in the large and brackish Tefonga Lagoon. It forages for fish and cephalopods and roosts on rocky shores. The species is colonial, breeding in small colonies around the Chatham Islands. Little is known about its breeding behavior. It is threatened by a range of human activities and threats. The species is sensitive to disturbance at its breeding colonies, as nests are trampled by stampeding adults and nests are opportunistically raided by silver gulls after the eggs are unattended. At worst, entire colonies have been abandoned due to disturbance by people or stock. Colonies on the main islands are also vulnerable to introduced predators such as weka, feral cats and possums. It is considered critically endangered. Like the North Island Kokako, the South Island Kokako was a slate gray bird with long legs and a small black mask, Reichert considered its plumage slightly lighter than the North Island species. Its wattles were distinctly orange in color with a dark blue base, young birds had much lighter wattles. It seems to have spent more time on the ground than the North Island species, but been a better flyer. Introduced mammalian predators and forest clearance by settlers reduced their numbers further. By 1900 the bird was uncommon in the South Island and Stewart Island, and had almost disappeared by 1960. Its vulnerability compared to the North Island species was perhaps due to its foraging and nesting close to the ground. The Kakapo anatomy typifies the tendency of bird evolution on oceanic islands, with few predators and abundant food, a generally robust physique at the expense of flight abilities, resulting in reduced wing muscles and a diminished keel on the sternum. Like many other New Zealand bird species, the Kakapo was historically important to Maori, the indigenous people of New Zealand, appearing in many of their traditional legends and folklore. However it was also heavily hunted and used as a resource by Maori, both for its meat as a food source and for its feathers, which were used to make highly valued pieces of clothing. Kakapo were also occasionally kept as pets. The Kakapo is critically endangered. The total known adult population is 209 Iving individuals, all of which are named and tagged, confined to four small islands off the coast of New Zealand that have been cleared of predators. The introduction of predators such as cats, rats, ferrets, and stoats during British colonization almost wiped out the Kakapo. Other browsing animals, such as introduced deer, competed with the Kakapo for food, and caused the extinction of some of its preferred plant species. Very little 
is known about the biology of the New Zealand greater short-tailed bat, since it was not recognized as a separate species until after it is believed to have become extinct. The few existing photos show that this species had dark brown fur and darker wings. Nothing is known about their natural diet, however, it is likely to be similar to the diet of the closely related lesser short-tailed bat, which eats insects, especially beetles. Adult Lord Howe Island stick insects can measure up to 20 cm in length and weigh 25 grams, with males 25% smaller than females. They are oblong in shape and have sturdy legs. Males have thicker thighs than females. Unlike most phasmida, the insects have no wings, but are able to run quickly. The stick insects were once very common on Lord Howe Island, where they were used as bait in fishing. They were believed to have become extinct soon after the supply ship SS Macombo ran aground on the island in 1918, allowing black rats to become established. After 1920, no stick insects could be found. However, in 1964, a team of climbers visiting Ball's Pyramid, a rocky sea stack, discovered a dead Lord Howe Island stick insect. During subsequent years, a few more recently dead insects were discovered by climbers, but expeditions to find live specimens were unsuccessful. The Fiji-crested iguana is a large stocky lizard distinguished from the Fiji-banded iguana by the presence of three narrow, cream to white colored bands on males, rather than the broader bluish bands of the latter species. It is a diurnal creature that tends to live under the shade of trees and will seek sunlight heat on days with cool temperature. It has the ability to rapidly change color from green to black when aroused. It uses this ability when threatened by any potential predator in its surroundings. The biggest threat the Fiji-crested iguana faces is habitat loss due to fires, storms, agricultural development, and competition from feral goats. A secondary threat is introduced predators in the forms of rats, mongooses, and cats which prey on the Fiji-crested iguana and its eggs. Additionally the lizard has been hunted as a food source and for the illegal animal trade. The crow honeyeater is a very large honeyeater endemic to humid forests in New Caledonia. It is relatively inconspicuous, and lives either in pairs or alone. It forages for invertebrates and nectar in the canopy and midstory. This bird is critically endangered due to introduced rats. It is estimated that there are between 50 and 249 birds left. The New Caledonian owlet nightjar is endemic to New Caledonia's Melaleuca savanna and humid forests. Other members of its genus are highly territorial and nest in holes in trees. These birds also forage by sitting on a branch and attacking small animals. The species still survives in small numbers, but that total population is likely smaller than 50 individuals and declining. The New Caledonian rail is a large and drab flightless rail that is found on the island of New Caledonia in the Pacific. It is a dull brown above, with grey underparts, and has a yellowish, downward curving bill. No one knows what it sounds like and it is not known whether it is nocturnal or crepuscular. It most likely was driven to extinction from predation by feral cats, dogs, and pigs. The Vanakoro flying fox is mostly a solitary animal that can be found roosting individually or occasionally in pairs in the middle understory of trees with significant overhead cover and close to a food source. These bats forage during the day up until late afternoon. The genus Teropus are considered to be important seed dispersers and pollinators. Observations of their diet suggest that the Banacoro flying fox may be an important pollinator of coconuts and several other flowering plants in the area. The main island of Banacoro was extensively logged without any reforestation plan in the 1920s through 1960s which resulted in major habitat degradation.
the Mariana crow inhabits second growth and mature forests, as well as coastal strand vegetation, but nests only in native limestone forest. It is a rare bird which has steadily declined in numbers since the 1960s. On Guam there are believed to be very few remaining birds, the population having been much reduced since the introduction of the brown tree snake. On Rota the population has also been dwindling, the main threats here being the reduction of suitable habitat because of development and predation. Formerly classified as an endangered species, it was suspected to be rarer than generally assumed. Following the evaluation of its status, this was found to be correct, and it is consequently uplisted to critically endangered status in 2008 as it is in immediate danger of extinction, numbering so few birds that it could be entirely wiped out by a single. The range of the golden white eye has contracted considerably since the arrival of humans in the Mariana Islands. The species is nonetheless evaluated as critically endangered because the population is expected to undergo a rapid decline if the brown tree snake becomes established on Saipan. The Polynesian ground dove is a terrestrial and elusive dove. It primarily feeds by scratching for seeds on the ground. Flushes in a manner similar to a partridge while its wings produce a whirring sound. Little is known about the species breeding behavior. The Polynesian ground dove once was abundant on most of the islands it lived on. However, as this terrestrial species has no native mammalian predators, it is very vulnerable to the introduced feral cats and rats. The ground dove became locally extinct on most islands shortly after they were discovered by Europeans, and it is thought that the populations were already at low levels well before that. The ultramarine lorikeet feeds on a large variety of nectar, pollen, and flowers from various flowering trees. It seems to prefer flowers of the coconut palm. The ultramarine lorikeet is greatly threatened by the predation from the black rat which has greatly decreased its population since its introduction to Nuku Haiva since 1915. All islands have been devastated by extremely high levels of grazing and fire. Most of the original dry forest has been reduced to grassland, and terrible damage has been caused to upland forests as well. Deforestation to make way for farms, logging, and tourism has also had large impact in the decline of its population.